Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I know a bunch of you have been watching uh, the stove cleaning that we did, and I appreciate you watching. And we got a bunch of comments back saying it was very hard for people who had shorter arms or that didn't have really the reach to get in underneath um, to actually clean the oven. So, you know, I was going to just do a quick video here to show you how to remove the door. So that way it's easier for you to clean the oven and get in there really deep if you need to, if you have a short, shorter arms and things like that. Or if you just want to give this a good cleaning, you want to be able to put it on top of like, you know, your counter, on top of a towel or something like that to give this a really good cleaning and that sort of thing as well. So I didn't need to do this because my arms are uh, long enough to reach to the back of it and things like that. But I can see how it would be difficult if you didn't have really that long of a reach. So obviously I can't remove the door because of my arm. So I'm going to bring in my son who's going to show you quickly how to remove this and that way you can clean the oven and get in the very back corners of it. Okay, so to remove the oven door in three steps, you just have to really open the door all the way. And then you're going to flip up these two little hinges. There's one there and there's one on that side. There you go. And then you're going to basically close the door about three quarters of the way before you pull up and it comes out that easy. And now, look at the reach you can get. You can come way up to here, and you don't have to have long arms. You can get in there real deep and make sure you get it cleaned. This is a GE. Um, most of the ovens have a similar functionality. I think almost all the GEs have this kind of lift a couple things up, get the door halfway open, and then pull up, and it comes right out. So let's show you putting it back in. So to put it back in, you have to start off, rest it on your knees. It's a little bit easier resting the door on your knees so you don't hit yourself in the shins. You gotta go in kinda high on it. And then, basically you're gonna open the door all the way, just like that. Flip down the two little hinges to lock it into place. There you go. And that's it. So, I hope this helps those that can't reach the back of the oven, get in there deep and clean it. You can remove the door. Um, GE, these Every GE I've ever seen does the same sort of mechanism to remove the door. Um, it's pretty easy to do. The door's not super heavy. Always use your knee and kind of rest on your knee though, because otherwise, you know, I've, I've seen people do it before where they open it, they do that, and it bangs them in the shins, right? You don't want to do that. So use, it, use that knee to kind of balance it there. And that's it, and you should be able to get in there really deep into the back of your oven and get the whole thing really good and clean and get the sides really clean. So that was another question is, can you use this on the sides of the oven to clean it? Absolutely, it's just paste, right? Paste up the sides just the way you do on the bottom. So you might have to do the sides a few times because it's not really sitting and kind of soaking in. And so you might have to do them a few times, but yeah, it works on the top, it works on the sides, uh, and that sort of thing. I just showed you the bottom because that's where all of our nastiness was. So one other, one other hint um, or suggestion is, someone said, you know what? I, my mom always put aluminum foil on the bottom so when it flooded over they could pull it out. I really don't like the look of doing that, but it works. So it does work. So if that's something that you want to do, it's your choice to do. I prefer just to clean it. So that's it. Subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time.